Hey guys, today is September 13th, which is Tuesday. I so enjoyed doing this um, box art series number two that I'm going to do another box art series. And I hope you're not tired of them already because I'm loving this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same concept that I did for Flo, but I'm gonna do it with these boxes here. And let me show you real quick. I wanna make three, three small ones. This is the leftover box from Flo, and I'm hoping that I can squeeze out one from that box. And then there's two smaller boxes here. One's a Neutrogena box, and I'm gonna to try to use it for one. And then there's an empty Advil box, and I don't take a lot of Advil, but we have a bottle on hand in case, so I took the box just as a disclaimer there. <laughs> I don't promote Advil or anything. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna try to make one out of this box. So they're rather small and I'm gonna do it in fast forward. I'm gonna draw out the body parts I need. Um, so let's start with this first because this is the one, I, and the reason I wanna do this separately is because this is thicker. This box was a lot thicker cardboard. And so I don't wanna try to make these work together, although I probably could. I just would like to keep the boxes to themselves, like this box to itself and this in one ser um, doll and this one in another one. So that's why, that's why I'm doing it that way. So I'm gonna get started on that and I hope you guys enjoy and I will be back with you as soon as I have something to talk to you about. And let's get started. Next step I want to take is to take my stabilo and trace around the edges of like here's the skirt. I love this shape skirt. Um, trace around the edges of the skirt first and then put my clear gesso on and then my white gesso on my paint and then cut it out. So that's the next step. So let's get our clear gesso ready and I'm going to start that process, okay? Okay, I wanted to stop a minute and tell you I've got all the pieces painted white and I wanted to just show you, it's very sloppy. There's nothing neat about this and that's what's so great about it. It doesn't have to be neat. 
I can come in and do all kinds of stuff with this. Um, <laughs> all right, stay down there. Um, I just wanted to get some gesso down so it'd be easier to paint over because the boxes, while not slick like this side, were not like paper. On the other side, it was not as easy to um, put paint on. So the gesso is just to give me something to let the paint grab to. Okay, so I just, but I wanted to show you real quick how these look and to start off looking so stinking messy and ugly, <laughs> they sure turn out cute. So the next thing I'm gonna do is start painting with color. And I'm probably gonna do one on camera and the rest off because if I do all three, it'll take a long time, even in fast forward. So I think what I'll do is I'll start painting and then when I get down to my last one, I'll put that on camera for you so you can watch the painting process. And then uh, after I've painted one on camera for you, then we'll go into cutting. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll be back with you guys in a flash. I'm sorry guys, I think that I didn't have the camera on when I was doing all this here. I don't know, when I went to turn it off to dry, it came on, so I don't know until I edit if it did. If it didn't, I'm, I apologize. I think my battery in this thing is going weak, so I need to get that checked. So anyway, um, I just want to tell you that real quick in case you see it bounce from no face to face. Um, I'm not quite through, so let's get back to what we were doing. Okay, let me show you real quick where we are so far. Um, this is the last one I did for you. I haven't decided how this is gonna be used, so I haven't decided if this is gonna stay this way or not. I haven't decided what this is going to be yet, so that's why there's nothing on this. But the rest of her is painted, but not outlined really well. So it's really kind of messy and blotchy. I actually kind of like that. I don't know why. It just appeals to me, so a lot of times it just stays that way. Flow is a little bit that way. If you look at her, she's got a lot of splotchy, just not cohesive painting to her. I, I just like that, I don't know why. So that's this one, and we'll figure out what these are gonna be when we get started on putting them together. Once that happens, then I'll have a more clear picture. The other one that we've done, I'll show you real quick. I'll move this out of the way. Let's see if I need to get you in closer. Oops, I always go the wrong way, don't I? Um, got a couple flowers, uh, stem and leaves, um, some wings. I don't know where that's gonna go. Her head, skirt, some hair, feet, and bodice. And that's very blotchy and not really um, finished. So, but it's, it's, you know, a lot of the way there. I just have to make her look like she belongs together that's all <laughs> nothing too difficult right all right on this one we've got a bodice and some feet and legs and I, actually those feet and legs go with the one i just showed you sorry about that i put them aside to dry and forgot um feet and legs hand um there's another hand somewhere wing I think no yeah wing flower leaves dress or skirt another hand another wing stem face and hair so I'm going to cut these out and all I do and I'll just do one real quick all I do is just go around and you see how the line is very blurred very smeared doesn't matter, you can always fix it. I just go around where I think I want the line to be. I cut off what I don't need and I keep what I want. And if there's a little white showing, that's okay, we can fix that later. If you didn't get enough black in there, that's okay, we can fix it later. So that's what I'm gonna be doing and I will probably do that off camera so that I can uh, do this quickly without 
feeling the pressure on the film of the camera on. And then I'll come back and I'll share with you what we've got and we'll start putting them together, which is my favorite, favorite part. I'm so excited. I can't wait to put them together. I'm really curious how they're going to go together because these I just did wonky and fast and like I did Flo too, but Flo did so well together. I was like, that looks too planned. I don't know. Something went right and that's usually not the case. So we'll see how these go. All right, so I'm going to cut these and I'll come back. Okay, I have them all cut out and on this one where I didn't have enough box, a whole box, um, I saved the little scrap pieces as I cut out, like this one we don't know what we're going to do with yet. But the rest of these little pieces that came off of this box, I saved them. Because if I want to make this a flower, I get a stem. If I want to make it a wing, I have more to work with. I might have to piece it together or make smaller wings. But, you know, we have that to work with. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these three canvases that I've got. These are Da Vinci Pro Panels, and they are ultra smooth. They're gessoed already, which, you know, doesn't make any difference to me. I always usually either gesso or lay paper down or something like that anyway, so... Um, they are four by eight and they are three quarter inch thickness. So that's what they look like. I got them at Jerry's Artorama. So I'm gonna use these to create our three girls. And I've already opened the other two. And I'm just gonna show you. The little paper that comes off here is kind of cardboardish, so you know what we're going to do with those, right? We're going to keep them for something. So let's start with one, or maybe we should do them all the same. Should we? I think maybe. Uh, let me think about that. Okay, I think what I want to do is take the spa blue that Kathy sent me, and I'm going to... Um, paint it all over the canvases, all three of them. And then I might come in with some stenciling or something with the off-white or white or maybe another blue. I'm not sure. But I think I definitely want spa blue and maybe a brown border. I don't know. I don't know until I get there. So let's just go ahead and do this and fast forward. I'm just going to take the spa blue and put it on here. Probably wet my brush so that it's a little bit more of a wet paint instead of a dry brushing. All I did basically was spa blue over the whole canvas top sides and the back edge and the top side is a watery spread. I put the spa blue on, dunked my um, brush in water and then spread it over so you can see it's very uneven and it's got some whites showing through and I'm okay with that because I'm probably going to do more to this. And then I took the spa blue in its solid state without adding water and I went around the edges and the back and there's still more I'm going to do to it. So, but I'm going to stop for today because I am tired. I really want to get them done, but I'm just, I'm just too tired. So I'm going to set these down and let them dry while I'm gone. And then when we come back tomorrow, we'll put our little girls together after we finish our canvases. So I will see you later in a flash. Boom. I'm already back. Hey guys, it's the next day and I was about to mark my calendar before I got started talking to you guys. And I thought I'd use this red that was sitting here and then I, took off the lid and I noticed that something didn't quite look right. I don't know if you can see because the light, I have to hold it up high for you to see, but then the light goes away. Um, this is a brown cap on top of red. So then I went and found my brown and I looked to see if the red cap was there. And of course it was, and you can see this one better. So, what can I say? I guess that's what happens when you get tired. I was putting all the lids and stuff back on and I just misjudged which belonged to which and I'm hoping these blend fine together without giving me a problem. I think it'll be just fine. But <clears throat> I thought it was a little humorous. I thought I'd share it with you. Not everything always goes so smoothly. Let's see what it looks like now. That's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything's fine, right? 
<laughs> I'm just gonna say it's fine whether it is or not. Okay, I wanna mark my calendar. Today is the 14th of September. And I was gonna use a stencil on here, but I didn't wanna take the time to get the stencil out. And I don't wanna put any of that color paint on the stencils I'm going to use. So what I'm gonna do now, yesterday where we left off, I had painted these um, canvases and I told you I watered down the top and spread the paint around and then the sides and the back I just used straight paint I didn't put my brush in the water <clears throat> so today what I'm going to do is use two stencils and I'm going to use two more colors and what I want to do first um, I think I want to put the, the dots down first and I'm going to show you the stencils in case you were interested so you know which stencils I'm using and uh, this one's a Heidi Swap stencil, and I don't know if it has a name. Let's see. Uh, name, 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 name. I don't see a name. Well, no name, not on there. Let's see if there's a name on the stencil. Nothing. It just has one. I don't know if that means anything. Anyway, it's fairly self-explanatory. And the other one is a um, crafter's workshop, six by six. They call them templates, but it's a stencil. So it's called Mini Numbers Collage. And that's what this one is. And the reason I like this one is because putting these dolls together in the different parts just reminds me of little puzzles. And this kind of reminded me of that. So I wanted to use that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, I used the spa blue on the canvas. I'm going to take these two colors, I think, unless I change my mind. I may bring in this green here. Where is it? Uh, this one. Hmm. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. Can you tell already? Uh, maybe I'll just stick with the blue and the white because I don't want the backgrounds to be really stand out because I want the girls to stand out. So I'm going to take this blue and I'm going to use the blue for the polka dots. And then once those are on, I'm going to take the white, or the, it's actually off-white, it's light antique white, and I'm going to put the numbers on. And this is going to cover a lot of the polka dots because of the way the stencil works. A lot of these open spaces will cover any of the dots that are on there. So all you'll see is a few, and that's, that's fine. That's okay. And if we don't like it, we'll paint over it again, okay? So that's what we're going to do first. And I'm going to do that and fast forward. And... Um, I think let's just get started. It's already afternoon. It's afternoon o'clock here. I'm getting up here later than I wanted to, but earlier than some days, so that's that's good. All right, sponge, sponge, sponge. Okay, let's get started. I want to show you. <clears throat> you can barely see this. I don't know what is wrong with my throat. <clears> throat. I mowed today, maybe that's it. Um, you can barely see the dots, and I'm trying to decide, do I want to leave it that way and go ahead with the numbers, or do I want to put another color? I think we're going to do another color. What do you think? Um, do we want purple? Do we want the green? <clears throat> Excuse me. This green, it's just calling my name. Sorry, <laughs> just is. Uh, I say that. I say that because you know who out there. <laughs> One of the you know who's out there is gonna be saying, "Oh, not green again."
Well, I like how this turned out. And one thing that I'm sure you're noticing is that the blue that I did the dots with before I did the, the green dots, you can't even see those. And But that's okay. It It's like everything else that you do, it's a starting point. It's something that you did that built on something you had already done that gave you a stepping stone to the next step that you were going to do or gave you an idea or sparked an interest or sparked a, that didn't work, let's try this. It's just all about building. It's pretty much what it is. Just keep building. And the end result is that I really like how this turned out. Now, I did not do the sides. I'm not going to. I have another plan for the sides, I think. So, I don't think I need this sponge anymore. I think what I want to do now is go ahead and I'm going to think because I don't want to think out loud on camera because I'll take up 20 minutes of your time while I'm thinking. But I'll tell you what I thought about when I come back. Here's what I've been thinking. I want to take this paint and I want to water it down to make it kind of like a antiquing medium, although it's not an antiquing medium by any means. It's just paint watered down because I want a color, but I don't want it dark. So I'm going to water this down and then I'm going to take a paintbrush and paint it on and then I'm going to take a rag and wipe it away. That's what I've done across here, and you can see it's still a little bit uh, dark in some places. Um, these areas back here, if you don't like them dark, you can always go back in with some blue paint, but I think I like them okay. So I wanted to show you the difference. There's not a big, big, vast difference, but it's enough that I'm happy with it. It's just not as so bright. It's subtle, pushed back. And then when I'm finished, I may come in with a darker edge with black or something. I may um, outline it. I, I'm not sure. So I'm going to do these other two off camera because it's a little cumbersome to do and keep it in frame. And hopefully I did this in frame enough you can see what I did. And then when I get done, I'll come back and we'll continue the next step. Okay. Okay. If you guys knew what all happened when I turns off when I turn off the camera, you'd just be laughing. Um, first. You know, I'm always saying that my phone buzzes or rings when I come up here to art, and that's very true. And if you film, you know how that goes. That's still too wet. Um, the other thing is that there's a car alarm going off somewhere near here. I thought it was one of ours because ours are all parked out front right now. Um, so the tile guy can back down the driveway and have access to everything and not get the cars all yucky. And anyway, so, but it's not. My husband checked because he's working from home today. So, but it's still going off. And I had to stop in the middle of everything while I was doing this and just went and took a shower because I walked this morning first thing and I thought I'd go ahead and do this before my shower. I can't. I can't art dirty. So <laughs> I just can't. I should put that as my my subject line. That that'd get a lot of attention, wouldn't it? Um, so I took a shower and I feel much much better, and I feel like I can handle this now. And what else? Even though I get dirty while I'm creating, um, I just I don't know. I was feeling yucky. So what else? Um, I heard the coffee maker, and that's always a yummy sound. And how guys work in making his noise so you know I'm, I'm just blah 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 <laughs> uh, hey, who was I watching yesterday oh Wendy Wendy Mason Wendy if you're seeing this you were a hoot I was laughing so hard yesterday at her video where she started off and she, she's doing a voiceover and she got tongue-tied and she was doing the blah 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 blah, blah and then she went into a <laughs> she went into a chicken <laughs> It was hysterical. It was funny. Anyway, Wendy, that was just, I loved it. <laughs> and, and hello, by the way. Okay, so now let's get back to this. I know y'all are like, all right, enough with the blah, 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 blah. And, all right, um, what I want to do next, these are dry enough, and you can see they're toned down just a little bit. And I think before I put on the girls, I know you're like, get to the girls, that's what we want to see. Um, I'm thinking of taking the brown, timber brown stays on. I'm going to try brown first. If I don't like brown, I'll go over it with black. And just go around the edge a little bit and 
get that taken care of. Yeah, I like the brown. So let's do that. Okay, I was in such a hurry to get back here and start working again. I didn't dry my hair. See how wet? This is wet. <laughs> I could use it as a paintbrush, right? Okay, girls, 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 let's do the girls. All right, it's time to start on assembling the girls. And what I was gonna tell you before I left was I was thinking that I would do one, no, two off camera and just come back and do one for you guys on camera. But I thought, no, that's the most exciting part to me and maybe you guys would enjoy seeing it too. And I didn't wanna deprive you of that. So if you don't wanna see all three, you can speed through. But I thought for those of you who would enjoy it, I'm gonna do all three on camera. Okay, so let's start with this one here that's sitting right in front of me. And this was done on the brown box and this is one that I may have to add to. In fact, let's not start with her. <laughs> let's start with another one. So these pieces have not been sealed and you can see they're still kind of a rough paint and I'm probably gonna leave them that way. Um, we'll know when I get through, but what I wanna do is put them down and then I'll seal everything all together at one time. And I might even go over it with a little antiquing again. I don't know, I haven't decided. So. All right, let's get started. Let's get started, let's get started. Let's find her feet. And are you close enough to see? I don't want this video to be really long, but at the same time, you know, sometimes you just have to make a long video for you to see things. Um, and I, I just enjoy telling you what I'm doing. So you all have the control in your hand, control button to do whatever you like. So let's get started on this. So first, uh, I'm not gonna add anything more to the canvas until after the girl's on, then I'll know if I wanna add more to the canvas. But let's put down her feet and see what they look like and whereabouts we wanna start her body. We wanna make sure she's kinda of centered on the canvas or maybe a little off-centered and then add a, tr a flower. I may do that. That might be what I do. It might be pretty. But first, let's just see where we're gonna start her because that's gonna determine where the first gluing goes down. And there's her little bodice. And her head's gonna go right here. It looks like I started her in about the right place. And her hair goes like that. And then I have arms, I have wings actually, wings that are oddly shaped. Hmm, maybe. that and then where's her hair and put her hair down and then her arms can go here which I hadn't intended to do I was gonna put them on the bodice but I just got short little arms and then we have this piece which I forgot what it was for could be something she stands on but I think I meant for it to be on her skirt We'll have to cut it to fit. And this was gonna be a headpiece. So she needs to come down a little bit. All right, so if we bring her down here, I'd rather leave more up top than at the bottom. I think that'll work about right there. Okay, so the first thing we have to put down is her feet. Oops. All right, the feet are gonna go right here. And do we want her off to the side a little bit so her little flower can go on the side? Or do we want her to hold the flower? Kind of like her holding the flower on the other one. All right. Let's get started on that. Maybe I will fast forward this part because that is the fast part. You've seen her together, so probably what I'll do is put some double-sided tape on some of this 
and uh, glue on parts of it. So let me go off camera, do all the double-sided taping, and then we'll come back and glue it together. Okay, another long break and some fufu -fru coffee. Mm, I haven't had that with you guys in a while, have I? All right, let's get back to work. Okay, what we have so far is the first little girl put together on the canvas. I think she's adorable. I know she's wonky looking. I know her arms don't match up and go anywhere. I know the wings don't look right. That's the whole point. The whole point is to draw something on separate pieces of cardstock or paper or whatever, and then cut it apart and assemble it into something that's cute and unique and funky and fun and it works, it just works. And I love taking out of, uh, taking the perfection out of it and taking the stress of trying to make everything perfect. Um, and you know, I even thought maybe I should move these up here and make it like her shoulder, but, <laughs> looks like a shoulder pad. But I think we'll just leave them down here. Kind of look, looks like a part of her shoe or sock or something, you know, I don't know. Maybe she's standing on uh, two rocks, who knows. Uh, I changed my mind about this flower going on her head because I didn't like it sitting up off the canvas so much. And I just thought it looked cute off to the side like this. And I took this piece that was meant for her waist. You weren't gonna see it because this flower covered it and just cut it and made her a little uh, crown or tiara or whatever you want to call it and then took the little pieces that were left over and put them down here so we're not done with her we have more painting to do because I don't like this here and um, I'm just gonna doozy her up some more so but what I want to do next is put together the other two girls and then go back and do the finishing touches. So I hope that you'll stay through the finishing touches, but once you see the girls together, you might be like, okay, that's all I want to see. <laughs> but you could even skip forward to the, to the very end where the pictures are. Anyway, I really had a blast with these, so I'm gonna do the next one, and I will, once again, do it in fast forward. Isn't that, isn't that cute? Is that just not cute? So let's do the next one, and, um, Let's have a drink of fruit food coffee first, and then we will uh, do the finishing touches. So let's get going. Bailey has joined me, and she's watching and waiting for me to finish my coffee because once I get the coffee all gone, I let her just lick the empty cup. She loves the smell, and I don't think she can get much flavor, if any, but she's waiting for her, her coffee. I do not give her coffee, like uh, stuff she shouldn't have, so don't panic, but she does like to lick the cup. And so I'm under pressure, so I can't concentrate. 
until <laughs> I finish this. So when I finish this, I will get back to this. You guys can just sit tight for a second while Bailey and I have our frou-frou, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, she's licking the cup. And I was gonna tell you, um, the door was closed. And so she was pushing her way through, trying to get through to get this to my coffee cup. That's how bad she likes to lick the cup. Okay, let's just get back to work, shall we? don't like that hair on her very well so I tried the flower and the flower I really like on her so her her flower is now her hair which leaves us flowerless now I could use this as the flower I could just make it a funky flower like this but I don't really like that either so what I'm gonna do is and this is what's so great about this you create the pieces and then you put them where you want them and you can you can alter them if you want to you don't have to stick to what you thought we were gonna do always change these are so sticky now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take this hair and we're gonna create a flower. And if I turn it this way, I've got, let's see, let's take the stem and we do this. We've got a flower that's kind of this shape. But if you turn it around and cut it like right there, you've got a really cute flower. And we also could add to it. Let's see, let's just go ahead and cut it right there. And right here kind of where the bangs went. Okay, so now we have a cute little flower. There's her stem. But the flower's kind of small, so what could I do to make the flower bigger? Well, I could glue on a couple of these pieces here, like this. And make a bigger flower. So, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then, that. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do that. Um, let me do that off camera real quick, and then I'll come back. So now what we have is this flower here, and it's a little bigger, and I like it better, and it's going to cover the area that I want to cover better. So let's glue that down. line there okay and I want to get the stem in there before it gets too dry that there and then we have leaves that we need to get on there and we'll put them like right there and I may do some more painting on them you just don't know I'm going slow in this part because I want to show you something and I thought oh rather than having to turn the camera on and off I'll just stay in slow motion well not slow motion, regular motion. Slow motion would be slow motion. <laughs> okay, there's her leaves. Now, when we made our flower, and I still might, I'm gonna raise that just a little bit, I 
still might uh, paint some more of this. When we made her flower, we had two pieces left over here. And I hate not using them because I, I don't know, just, just me. So I'm looking around thinking, what can I do to use these? And then I thought, hmm, originally it was her hair. Maybe it could still be her hair. So if I stuck them up here like that and like that, and they actually fit her head the way I cut them. It's so amazing how that happened. The way I cut them off of this, they fit her head, the side of her head. So it's going to be on her head. And I'm not sure how, I think even over the wing is fine. Okay. Let's put this down here. Go right up and tuck it up. And then this one. I thought that was really cool how that worked out. Totally unplanned. Seriously, un unplanned. If I, couldn't have, I couldn't have planned this. It wouldn't have worked. If I planned it, it wouldn't have worked. All right. Now, her hair is longer on one side than the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But <laughs> just pretend. Pretend her hair is blowing backwards and most of it's back there and it's a little wispy and this is blowing forward and, you know, use your imagination. So... There we go, we have her, and there's more work to be done to her. But let's look at them together. Aren't they just cute? I'm just having a fit over these. I think they're just adorable. Perfect or not, they're adorable. Okay, so we got one more to do, and this one is one that is going to require some more work because we don't have um, every piece that we're gonna need. I really need a flower, I think. And let's see what we do have. We've got a dress, we've got feet, we've got a head. And we've got a leafy looking thing and this thing and arms. And these arms are longer. So we could put them like right here and here like that and that's all we have this was going to be a flower but it could be your hair <laughs> it's cute this could be the flower so we could make that flower there and then i could just make a stem out of something here and some leaves and we're good to go so let's go ahead hmm Let's go ahead and do what? I can make hair out of those little curves here for her um, bodice, her shoulders. That might fit her head right there if I make some hair. Like draw it. Mm. Like, like this. Just kind of go down from the corner and make a little like ponytail type thing. Let's see if that works. We're not gonna measure and see if it works. We're gonna just cut it out and see if it works. I'm gonna be bold and brave. And I'll have to paint these tiny pieces if they work. All right, where's the other piece? Here, popped over here. Okay, let's put this here. Let's pretend that's her hair. Let's stick that there. And stick that right there. I love it. I love it. I think it's so cute. We gotta color it. I could go down like this. Or I could put it on her head like that. Kind of make her look like a dog. Dog ears. Like that. And then that. I don't like that as well. I like it kind of out there. I wonder if we can go the other way. Like this. I might like this better.
Yeah, I think I like that better. See? See what you can do? I mean, just eyeballing it and just cutting a little piece and it, it either works or it doesn't, you know? It either works or it doesn't. So this is the flower and I've got to make a stem. And I could make this the stem easily just by cutting the rest of this off right here. It could be a long stem and I could cut it shorter if I wanted to. It's got some rough edges on it from where the box was, but you know, does it really matter? I don't think it really matters. And we'll kind of cut the tip off here and just kind of round it up just a little bit. Let's stick this down here. And we'll let it go to about right there. And then I'll make some leaves. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna paint the hair, paint the flower. You know, I'll do that and fast forward. I'll do that and fast forward. If you've been with me this long, you might as well hang through to the rest, right? And then we'll put her together. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I have all my little pieces painted and off to the side and cut out, and now we need to put her together. And let's see, I definitely want to start her about right there. Okay, she's done, and if you noticed, I took the part of the stem that I cut off here, instead of throwing it away, I used it up here in her, whatever that is. And one thing she doesn't have that I did not make, and um, it's probably because I didn't have enough of this at the moment that I was drawing, I thought, well, I'll just hurry up and go on to the next, I don't know, but anyway, I didn't make any, um, wings but I really like wings so I'm thinking she needs some wings and I have this left over that's why I saved it up here just this left over and it looks like I might could get wings out of this here or little baby ones out of something like this or what else this one I could get two skinny wings out of I really like that shape, I wish I could get two of that shape. Let's see. Okay, we got our some little wings, just some little skinny ones that fit on there. Didn't have much to work with. Now I can throw away these little scraps because I'm not gonna use them for anything else. And let's take a look at our little trio. <laughs> these are really cute I'm not done yet I'm not sure if I'm gonna work anymore today or not but um, I think these are really really cute they just are adorable I thought I would show you one more thing I'm doing I painted a little bit on one of the flowers and on this stem and leaves and this then I'm gonna just write a little something on here I'm going to dry these and then I'm going to seal them and then I'll decide if I want to add paint. Once they're sealed, I'll know if I want to do any more enhancing, but I think I'm pretty much done with them. So let me seal those and I'll come back and we'll talk about it. Okay, I have finished sealing 
and what I'm going to do is show you what they look like right now and I'm going to decide if I want to do any more but I'm going to call it a day. I said that a minute ago but I didn't. I had to seal these. Um, and then if I do any more to them I'll, I'll film it, talk to you about it, whatever. Then I'll close out the video and I'll try to get this uploaded by next week. So here's the first one and I'm going to, I'll give you a close up of each one. And that's all so far that I've done to the backs and sides. I don't know if I'm going to do any more. And here's the second one. I just love these. I love making them. I think they're adorable. I think they're little misfits. I think that's what I'm going to call them. The little misfits. <laughs> that's what I'm going to call them. And this one. Little misfits. That's it. So... There you go. I love them. I think they're just so cute. So I'm going to call it a day. I might come back and put some words on here. I might come back and put little misfits on them. You know, a little um, printed out from the computer or printer. Oh my goodness, I'm tired. Do you hear the coffee machine again? Time for a second cup today. I usually don't drink too, but today's been a wacky day. Okay, see you soon. Good morning. It is Friday the 16th of September and I think I was a day off yesterday. I think I told you it was the 14th and it was really the 15th. I don't really remember. Anyway, um, I took a few minutes this morning to finish these up and all I did was I took uh, some stamps that I had packed in my little tote. I just printed out names and I have decided to call these little girls uh, the Misfits because they are so misfitted. <laughs> and um, I named them in <clears throat> alphabetical order, <clears throat> A, B, and C, just in case I wanted to do the whole series A through Z. I don't know that I will. I'm not really good about doing something like that. That's why I don't do a lot of um, challenges and things like that because I don't stay with it. I, I love doing it at the time I'm doing it, but then my mind wants to go on to something else. So. I don't know, the calendar is about the closest I've ever come to doing anything consistently and I'm really enjoying it, so that's something I will stick with. Anyway, this is Anne, and this is B, and this is Camille, Camelia. And in the event that I go all the way to Z, I'll name every one of them by a letter. Or I may not, I may change my mind. <laughs> but at any rate, they are gonna be called the Misfits because I think it's just appropriate because you just create everything individually and then you stick them all together and they they don't look like they have, you know, proportionate anything. So I think it's a really good name for them. So this is Anne and she's finished and the only thing I did was add her name and I put a little tiny bit of grounding and I call it grounding. I don't know if you really wanna call it that. I took a little bit of gray and a little bit of black and watered it down. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's really early. And I um, put a little bit down here in coloring just to give her a little shadow as if she's standing on something because she's sort of hanging there. I could go in and draw a little something, but I don't want to, I wanna keep it simple. So, and then I went around the edges a little bit more with some brown, um, Timber Brown Stays On ink. And this is B, and of course added her name, a little bit of color down here, and the the edges, that's all I did. And then Camellia, okay? So I'll give you um, pictures at the end to look at and I will zoom down the camera as close as I can get. Let's see if I can put these up in a way that you might could see them better. There we go. That might, well, almost, almost, not quite. Anyway, there they are. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a ball. I really, really, really had fun with these and I plan on doing more and I may even do a few bigger ones. Um, I haven't decided that yet, but welcome to the Misfit Club. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys will give it a try. And if you do, let me know because I'd love to see what you come up with. And I think I'm going to do one of these as a do it with me project. I started um, 
a little do it with me playlist and it's not something I do regularly it's just something I do occasionally when I feel like it's something that you would have fun doing with me and that we could do along together and I go in more slow motion not slow motion but you know I don't speed up as much except for maybe like painting or ceiling or something and uh, just tell you every little step I'm making and you make it with me you can draw the same shapes I'm drawing whatever you want to draw but it's kind of like we do it together and you could do that with this video but it's you know I might make a specific one that's for the do it with me series so I hope you have a great afternoon evening day weekend whatever it is and I haven't told you in a while but I always think about it um, if you are newly subscribed thank you for being here I appreciate that you took the time to land here and um, get a parking space <laughs> And if you've been with me a while, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me and hanging in there all this time. Thank you a lot, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Like, all right, enough with the blah, 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 blah. And